Hello everyone, welcome to the Gillespie in downtown Louisville, Kentucky. We got everything set up and ready to go. Got a full DJ setup going on. We also have our photo booth over here in this corner. We'll go check that out in just a minute. Um, doing a lot of spotlighting, a lot of uplighting. Uh, awesome, awesome venue. These awesome uh, hard floors. This used to be a bank a very, very long time ago. The vault, the safe is still downstairs. And uh, they do a lot of photos uh, and stuff with the brides and grooms that come through here. Um, <clears throat> awesome couple I'm working with. I actually booked this wedding from a bridal show back in January. And they are an amazing couple. This is a dry wedding. Um, they were really concerned about that because they had other DJs in the area say that, uh, you know, dry weddings, people don't usually dance and the alcohol means everything. And uh, I kind of was shocked that a DJ would say something like that. That to me says that particular DJ or particular DJs absolutely had no confidence in their abilities to be able to motivate people to dance. Um, that to me is crazy. That you, that's, you might as well just put yourself out of business if that's your attitude. Um, any good DJ doesn't need alcohol to get people out on the dance floor. We got about 220 guests tonight. Going with the line arrays, um, mainly because it's wider. It'd be different if I was throwing the sound uh, all the way across the room, but we're doing it widthwise. And you know, if they're not going to be a huge dancing crowd, then I don't think I need the EKXs like I did with the wedding last Friday. The uh, wedding last Friday, that room was a lot larger too. So uh, let's let me show you what's going on with the setup and with the photo booth. Here we got the setup all lit up. We're gonna keep the setup lit, but the, uh, the up lighting is off for the moment. I need to get that wire straightened out. We can't use gaff tape at this particular venue, uh, just carpet squares, and didn't have enough carpet squares for the wiring, but it's not too bad. I'm still gonna zip tie it that way. It is a little bit more organized. That's all I really have left to do. Let's go check out the booth. So they're doing a total room flip. Uh, after the ceremony is over. This is their photo booth Or selfie station. I gotta stop saying photo booth. This is not a, a traditional photo booth. This is a selfie station They wanted a cityscape backdrop, so I got that going for them And there's the selfie station itself So it's not a traditional um, Photo booth. It doesn't print. It just sends the images via text or via email and a lot of people have been liking that, actually. They also like the fact that it's a small footprint. It doesn't really take up a lot of room. And I've got various props, mostly just signs. Got some sunglasses. I'm building my prop library as we speak.
that's the end of that one. Uh, not a whole lot to shoot, mainly because there was only about an hour of dancing. That's it. But I uh, got a lot of compliments from folks that, you know, weren't the bride and groom, but relatives and friends. They were talking about how, even though it was a dry wedding, they had a really good time. I kept it fun and interesting, and uh, they, they, had a lot of, they had a lot of fun. So, proof that you can have a great time and entertain a crowd without booze, without alcohol. Shame on the DJs who told that couple that the alcohol was the most important attribute to the party. That's ridiculous. I still cannot get over the fact that there were DJs in my market saying that, to me, it was like them saying, you know, this this wedding just isn't worth, worth it for me. I had a blast. I had a good time. I made some cash. There's nothing wrong with that. Anyway, we will see you tomorrow at Ashford Acres. Oh, stay tuned. That's, that's, I, th I have a feeling it's going to be a wild party because Anastasia is a really fun person. So stay tuned. A lot more to come. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button if you like this video, and I will see you all tomorrow.